हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैपिटल गेन्स टैक्स ऑन स्टॉक्स टू इंक्रीज देर इज अ क्वेश्चन मार्क गवर्नमेंट लाइकली टू रीवैम्प कैपिटल गेन्स टैक्स इन नेक्स्ट बजट टू बूस्ट रेवेन्यू ए रिपोर्ट सेल्स द कैपिटल गेन्स टैक्स रेजिम इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड क्लीन अप लॉन्ग ओवर ड्यू रेवेन्यू सेक्रेटरी तरुण बजाज Union Revenue Secretary Mr Tarun Bajaj has announced that the capital gain rule for various assets are complicated in India and there is a need to simplify it. He said the government has received several proposals to simplify the capital gains tax structure and the government is discussing what changes need to be implemented in the budget for 2023-24 on 1st February. One of the proposals is to increase the tax on long term capital gains from stock markets in the next budget 2023 currently below is the tax on stock market gains category short term capital gains profit from stock markets made within one year that also includes mutual funds 15% long term capital gains profit from stock markets which is booked after one year 10% after 1 lakh profit now taxation of gains on property and bank fd interest real estate less than 2 years is termed as short term as per income tax labs 10 20 or 30% real estate more than 2 years 20% with benefit of indexation bank fd interest any time it comes as per income tax lab 10 20 or 30% Until April 2019, there was no capital gains tax on long-term holdings in stock markets. Currently, long-term capital gains on stocks held for more than one year is taxed at 10% and profit above threshold of one lakh. If you notice, the tax is higher for capital gains on real estate and gold investments. Also, the current period to classify as long-term, short-term is different for different assets such as stocks, real estate, and gold. according to the proposal to increase taxes and simplify taxes the government philosophy is that passive income earned from long term holding in stock market should not be taxed at a lower rate the government has observed that long term capital gains are taxed in many countries at 25 to 30% range or as per the income tax laws it almost looks like government assumes that the risk taken by a fd holder and a stock market investor is the same FD is risk free and gives guaranteed interest and hence tax as per income tax law stock market investing is more like a business which involves taking sufficient risk and there is a high chance of loss hence imposing higher taxes is illogical as for the latest available statistics of the income tax department for the year 2021 only around 6 crore people have filed their it returns as per statistics only 3% of the indians earn income of more than 5 lakhs per annum which is looking like a joke and only around 15 lakh individual taxpayers have disclosed income above rupees 10 lakhs so a very small percentage of the population pay income taxes in india in order to increase the tax revenue for the government they are trying to increase tax on stock market gains to fund various welfare schemes only around 5 to 6% of the indian population invest in indian stock markets hence this is an easy target group government may be feeling that such a small number of people will not be able to protest if taxes are increased the government is trying new ways to collect tax or increase the revenue to fund welfare schemes it has been selling stake in various public sector companies and also monetizing assets of various ministries such as telecom petroleum railways there are several other ways to increase tax revenue this is our opinion number 1 by ensuring stricter tax compliances for income tax for business and gst two identify wealthy agriculturists and introduce tax three identify tax evaders who spend on luxury items but don't pay income tax etc however 
targeting all these categories of people will result in losing popularity among the general public and hence may result in losing the future election so such actions are done with a political angle in mind rather than actually improving the indian economy and spreading the burden of taxation among large number of people rather than only 1% of the entire population anyway let us see if this proposal is accepted by government in the coming union budget or any time subsequently till then things will go on as usual finally at the end of the video here is a question as a survey what will you do if in the future government increases the tax on stock market gain there are three choices continue to invest in stocks type a reduce investing in stocks type b and stop investing in stocks type c if you are not the member of rashtra maharashtra channel this is the time to subscribe press the bell icon send this video to all your friends the video is good press the like button thank you for watching bye bye all the best